Uh, well, can I start, I think, on a, on a note of agreement, and, and I'm pretty sure that you and I, Prime Minister, are both Democrats, and we both believe that in a parliamentary democracy, a majority should be respected. So therefore, can you tell me, if a majority of the Scottish people want their country to be an independent nation, how do they democratically achieve that objective? Well, Pete, let me, let me tell you that uh, what I think that they should uh, do is hold a, a, a referendum uh, such as the one that was held in 2014. Uh, and when they say that uh, to the people of, uh, of that country and indeed all uh, of the UK that that's a once in a generation event, uh, which is what they said, uh, that they should, in a democratic spirit, uh, honour uh, that pledge. Well, can we unpack just a couple of these things? Because, again, that's just an utter load of rubbish. There was nothing in any of the legal texts about once in a generation. There was two legal texts, the Edinburgh, Edinburgh Agreement and the Smith Commission. There was no mention whatsoever right. of once in a generation. And if they want to lo use rhetorical flourishing, Prime Minister, I think that you said if it was a Brexit extension, you would be dead in a ditch. Well, you're sitting in front of us and that ditch is still unoccupied. So surely, once again, if the Scottish people want to achieve independence, how is that democratically achieved? Well, What's the answer? I, I give, I, uh, Pete, with great respect, I've given you, I've given you my answer. That I, as far as I can see, the uh, the Brexit extension has has has, has come and gone. Uh, we're out of the EU. Scottish f uh, fishermen, uh, f fishing businesses have access uh, to unparalleled marine wealth in the course of the next few years. I hope they exploit it. I hope that the uh, SNP isn't so uh, deranged as to hand back control of our fisheries. Uh, to the EU, and I remember distinctly uh, Alex Salmond and Nicola Sturgeon saying that it was a once in a generation event. Did, but did you not hear them say that? Well, we've been, we've, we've just did you? There's no way of what? many legal texts about once in a generation. Did you say that? I think did they say speak, that? Could you not answer this question? Is, are you seriously saying that democracy in Scotland doesn't matter and that a majority should be respected? I can only think of one can other I? sort of world leader that would deny democracy like that. He's currently sitting in the White House. Right. Are you seriously saying to the Scottish people that their democracy doesn't count and don't ignore it? I, 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 I think you know you need to to ask yourself whether you're seriously saying that right now, in the middle of a pandemic, uh, it, whether the people of Scotland or or the, or the UK or, or anywhere. Uh, think it's sensible to uh, have a, a referendum on another constitutional on a constitutional issue uh, when we are trying to, uh, as we discussed earlier, uh, to get the pandemic uh, down, uh, to generate millions of jobs that, that we're going to need over the next uh, few years, to allow this whole country uh, to, to bounce back. Uh, together, I think that's what the people of this country want to focus on. I think it's incredible that the Scottish National Party is 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 focusing on uh, on a referendum. When you can't say, by the way, uh, what you want this referendum to uh, to discuss, uh, do you, you know, you can't say what uh, the, the 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 prospectus is uh, for the destruction of the United Kingdom. Do you want to scrap the army, scrap the pound, scrap the scrap the queen, scrap the bomb? What is it? Uh, what is it? What is it? You, you can't say you can't say what your agenda is. All you can say is that you want to break up uh, the UK in, in some way. And I think that the people of this country, I think the people of this country want to focus on fighting COVID and getting on with building back better together. And Mr. Wishart. I've got a very elegant solution for that, Prime Minister. Let's have a referendum, not now when it's a pandemic, but in the first part of our next parliamentary speech term. Let's have a referendum. You put that case to the Scottish people. You put the case why we believe that Scotland should be an independent nation. And let the people decide that's what the Scottish people want. There are 17 opinion polls now showing that a majority of Scotland want an independence referendum. You know, Prime Minister, I know, everybody watching this knows that a referendum is coming. Why on no, earth don't. don't you? Just get on with it. Why don't we have this referendum? Let the Scottish people choose. If your global Brexit Britain is so wonderful, they'll vote for that. If they agree with us that we should be an independent, we should vote for that. Why can't we just get on and do it? Well, because, uh, because we had a referendum uh, on the issue in 2014, uh, which uh, senior members of your party, perhaps not you, you uh, said was a once in a generation event. It was on that basis uh, that people voted uh, in the way that they did, very substantially, to keep our wonderful union uh, together. And if you look at the, and I think people want to focus on on, on fighting the pandemic. And I and I think, by the way, one of the one of the weirdest things I've heard in the last 
couple of days is that uh, the, uh, the Scottish Nationalist Party is, is so uh, averse to any the Scottish Prime National Minister. Party is so averse is so is so averse to uh, anything that comes from England that I'm told you won't even use the word Oxford uh, Oxford vaccine. Uh, perhaps you perhaps you'd like to say something in favour of the Oxford vaccine. Look, look, I'll tell you what I'll say to you, Prime Minister. Your response to these questions just demonstrate the pitiful state that the Scottish Conservatives are in. Just now. You're prepared to deny us democracy. You mentioned rubbish about Oxford vaccines. What the Scottish people want is a say in the future. They're hearing you saying that you're not prepared to give that. I, I don't even bother, know why you're bothering standing in the next Scottish election. Surely you know continuing to say no to Scotland is unsustainable and there will be another referendum. I think what people, I, what people in this country, across this country want, uh, in Scotland and elsewhere, is for us to focus on their needs. And from where I sit, I see the Scottish National Party, uh, and, and whether you're nationalist or not, it's a matter for, uh, for, for, for you. I, I would say by any definition of that word you, you were, uh, they, you see them failing on crime, failing on education, uh, failing on tax, and with nothing to say except that you want to break up the United Kingdom. That's all you've got to say. And what you won't say is what the purpose of the referendum is. You won't say whether you want to uh, keep the pound, uh, whether what will happen to pensions. You won't say what will happen to uh, the, the diplomatic service, the security services, the military, uh, the monarchy. You won't say anything about it. All you will say is that you want uh, a referendum. And you, and, uh, you had one in 2014, and the result uh, was decisive, as, you, as, I think, as, as I think SNP leaders said in 2014. Let's have that referendum and let the people decide. On, on what? On what? On the future of Scotland. The Scottish people want to be an independent nation. Let them decide. I think you've got to explain what you mean by that. Thank you. It's uh, quite simple, Prime Minister. We put last a, question. You put a proposition for the Union. We will put a proposition for independence. We'll let the Scottish people choose and decide. Whatever outcome they decide is what will happen. It's very straightforward. You did it for, with Brexit. If you can have your democracy in Brexit, why can the Scottish people not have their democracy well, about their constitution in the future? Uh, anyway, I, I don't think that that's the... I think what people want to focus on now is uh, addressing this pandemic. I think that uh, the last thing this country needs is to wrap itself into uh, years of constitutional wrangling on a, on a prospectus that, from that account, was very, very unclear. Um, 